You're taking a look at a hot new workout trend though. It's called the seven minute workout. People ask me all the time, hey, how do I get a workout in? I see them on Fox all the time, but I have a busy schedule, they say. Well, Dr. David Bolin is a family medicine physician at Community Health Network. He not only recommends this type of workout, he uses the seven minute app and Dr. Bolin is here. He has you have our attention because a lot of people we hear this all the time. I don't have an hour. I don't have 45 minutes. I don't have even you know 30 to do this. You say seven minutes is okay. Well, seven minute workout is a great idea. If you're kind of sedentary, you're starting to start in the exercise mm -hmm. program. You don't have much time, seven minutes and you can get your heart rate up. It's cardiopulmonary, good for you, mm -hmm. and you can even maybe lose some weight while you're doing it. Now, we're going to make this very clear. This You're not saying, well, this is what you should do, only do. I mean, you mountain bike, you run, yes. you're very active, but you're yes. saying if you have the choice of only doing nothing yes. because you think you don't have time, this is a great option. You know, if I'm traveling, mm -hmm. if I'm in a hotel room, I don't need weights. I can use one chair and my own body weight and still get a decent workout. Let's talk a little bit more specifically. We're going to show some more uh, video too of this app a little bit about what what you do. Here it is up here. You can even see part of it on screen. So I mean, we're, what kind of exercises are you doing in these seven minutes? Well, these seven minutes are based on 12 different exercises mm -hmm. and they involve the core body strengths, lower extremity, upper extremity exercises in 12 different exercises and you do 30 seconds each with 10 seconds rest. It's supposed to be high intensity. You're supposed to sweat. You're supposed to feel like you worked out hard. Mm -hmm. And then after seven minutes, if you want to do it again, you can. Okay. And so you're saying you do sweat. Do you sweat? Yes. I mean, do you yes. feel like after you've yes. done something that you're like, wow, yes. I've done this workout. Yes. I have to go take a shower <laughs> afterwards. I'm sore the next day. You feel like you had a decent workout. Let's talk a little bit about there are several of these out there. Seven minute workouts, seven minute apps, some that cost, you know, maybe a dollar or two, some that are free. Yeah. This is one of them out there. Are they basically all about the same and you kind of recommend any of them? They are the same, very similar. The one I use is here on the television, um, the Johnson and Johnson seven minute workout. Mm -hmm. And that's it, it seems to be the official one. And what's nice is it has different workouts on this free app that as you get more serious, you can choose others. All right, and I know that, you know, and talk a little bit more about the health benefits for when you are doing interval training like that and you get that heart rate up and down, it kind of lasts more than just seven minutes, right? Yes, the studies show that a good exercise, the metabolic effects will last for 72 hours. So there is benefit to doing that. Now there are limitations. Mm -hmm. If you have serious heart disease, um, you should talk to your physician before you do this exercise. Um, you still need to do other type of exercises if you're going to uh, gain benefits of total fitness. Okay, but again, this is something that, yes, Dr. Boland does it. You have permission if you need to yeah. do the seven minute app. You might want to try it for more information about Dr. Bolin and the Community Health Network. Go to fox59.com slash Angela Answers. And if you have a question for me, maybe a topic you'd like for us to discuss, you can post it on my section at fox59.com or tweet your question to hashtag Angela Answers. Nice to meet you. You're very yes, welcome. I feel better. I'm going to work out later today and maybe do seven minutes, Jim, and maybe go longer. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right, Angie. Yeah, good advice here.